to the first moto vlog of 2021. this morning how long it's been since I've been riding it's been a little over three months let me tell you uh, <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna be able to get out here and there with some heated gear over this winter and then mother nature was like <laughs> psych hold my beer watch this and she just dumped all the snow on us but I'm sure you've heard me complain about that enough for the last three months so I'm not gonna bore you with that man so yesterday was in the 40s, which was warm enough for me, and I strapped on my GoPro and I went out. Let me tell you, I really wish that I didn't lose the footage. I lost the footage somehow, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. But anyway, the footage was gone. I'm really upset about it because, you guys, I was like a pig in shit. I was so giddy. I was like a little kid laughing and oh my gosh, it was amazing. The footage has mysteriously disappeared. So today is day two of riding in 2021 and I could not be happier. Oh my gosh, you guys, like the winter was so long. All you guys that are with me know my pain. All right, it's the beginning of March. The roads are still crap. Man, there's so much salt and so much gravel. The main roads are a little better right now. It hasn't really rained to wash all the salt off. And I know I'm gonna have some of you saying, why, why would you bring that beautiful bike out on the road? <laughs> Hold on, woo, I missed it. So why would you bring that beautiful bike out and get it ruined in the salt? And to you I say, I was an angry person. Three and a half months of not riding, it was, it was wearing on me real bad. You know, I kept myself busy in the garage. We had other things going on. But man, the last couple weeks of this, oh, it's been rough. There's no sun. I feel like this is the first time the sun has been out <laughs> in three months, so what a difference man but gosh this is amazing oh the time has come to play pothole roulette <laughs> let me know in the comments if you have played pothole roulette too it's a little game that we like to play here in new york where our roads seem great before the winter they're patched they're paved and then winter comes, they dump all the salt, all the gravel gets pulled up and chunks of road get pulled up by the plows. And then in the spring, you get potholes. And it's pretty much pothole roulette. <laughs> I figure about 25% of you were like, oh gosh, it's still too early, I don't care. I wouldn't risk getting all the salt all over my bike. The road's fairly dry, I don't know. It's worth it for me. Uh, the other 25% of you are out there riding with me, so hats off to you. And <laughs> the other 50% of you are like, <laughs> I haven't stopped riding all year. I don't know what you're talking about. Good for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I was miserable. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so I'm still pretty bummed out about losing yesterday's ride footage because it was just so happy and fun. <laughs> so it was just really capturing. Like, I don't know, do you, those people that can ride all year that are watching, do you ever take riding for granted? Do you ever take it for granted that you just didn't ride for like a week or two, but it's no big deal because it's like you ride all year? Or let me know, because I don't know. I, I would, I'm curious can't describe to you this feeling right now finally being back on the bike it's 
in the 50s today so it's even warmer than it was yesterday yesterday i was a little cold um but man this is perfect i would take this all year round mm -mm. so i figured we'd take a ride and we would just talk about what's going on with the channel and the bike builds and updates so I guess the first thing on the agenda is the Roo Rock. Um, like I said, I put the vent plugs in and I tidied up all the wiring and everything. I made sure everything was good. Um, and I put the pin lock in and this is really the first, the first recording that you're gonna hear of the setup. So I'm hoping that it sounds pretty clear. I am getting a lot of wind on my helmet. So I think I need to adjust my windshield. But um, I'm going to do a review after I get a couple rides under my belt with this helmet. Um, I don't want to just say, oh, I love it. It's great and it sounds good. So, you know, I really want to give it a fair shake before I give my thoughts on the 2.0, which I mean, I don't know if it matters because the 3.0 is coming out. <laughs> but I think in general, you know, a lot of people want to know. They've been asking and I think you can snag a 2.0 on sale for a decent price since the 3.0 is coming out. And in other news, this windshield, you might have noticed, Memphis Shades, huge shout out to them. They reached out and sent me the 11 inch windshield. I was running the nine inch. I have the Road Warrior fairing, so I was running the nine inch um, smoked, dark smoke. Uh, this is the 11 inch and it's, a little more clear it's not the dark smoke um, I wanted to just see if it would keep more of the wind off my helmet I think I have to adjust it a little more though so but we also got a windshield for Anthony's road glide and we got him some hand guards also so we'll be doing another video just talking about that so stay tuned for that big shout out to Memphis Shades. They are awesome. They are the best people. Hold on. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> so let's talk about the charity build. So if you're new here, you might not know, but I'm working on a project, doing a build. I'm doing a raffle. And once the bike is done, it's gonna be really awesome. Uh, it's gonna get raffled off and all the proceeds that we raise from that raffle are going to Veterans Charity Ride. What's up? I, what, for, did people forget their manners? Whatever. All the proceeds from that raffle are going to Veterans Charity Ride. Now, Veterans Charity Ride is an amazing organization we really believe in giving back to the veterans and what better way to give back than to an organization that not only helps veterans but it helps them through motorcycle therapy we all know that motorcycle therapy is a real thing wind therapy is a real thing what they do is they take veterans with ptsd and depression and tbi and anyone that needs help there you go buddy and they take them on therapy rides they do group rides they go to like surges they do well vet they do moto donations so they are they're just a really great organization i'm in talks with dave and sue Frey, who are the founders they are amazing people and what better way to give back than through their organization so again we're just figuring out the logistics and you know when i started this i really didn't realize that i had to go through so much legal stuff but you know i am in new york which makes everything harder that guy just ran the light it makes everything a lot harder and uh you know you just you got to make sure you do everything right so you need rules and regulations and 
Um, there's just some workarounds we got to do. So I'm hoping very, very soon the tickets will be able to be on sale. We have the bike torn down. We have a lot of parts in. We're waiting on a few other parts to come in. We do have a couple of organizations that are working with us now. So I'm really super excited about that to tell you guys about that. We had a few parts donations. So it's really awesome. So stay tuned. I'll make a big announcement uh, once tickets are up for sale. We're also working on the big wheel bagger. We have a road glide with a 30 inch front wheel that we tore down to kind of just fix up and make it perfect. And, uh, you know, Anthony rode it for a few years and it's just time to move on. We almost have it put back together. I recorded a few days of working on it. Uh, we just have, I think, a few more hours to do and then the video will be up on that so you guys can see it all put together. There's one video on it already. So another thing that I wanted to mention, I've talked about the Five Dirty Bikers podcast before. If you haven't listened to it, make sure you check them out. They're hilarious. It's a really great podcast, great bunch of people. They have a Discord, and let me tell you, the Discord to be a member of, it's fucking free. <laughs> One of the moderators, Net Shark, Matt, just got into a pretty bad motorcycle accident. They are trying to raise some money for him. If you are interested in all in helping, if you can, 100% uh, of the money is going to Matt. They're not doing like a GoFundMe because that takes a portion of the money. If you are interested in helping, 5dirtybikers.com and go to the news tab, I believe, and there you'll be able to donate to Matt for his medical bills and whatever he needs. So. Hoping that you get better soon, Matt. Speedy recovery so you can get back out there riding. Oh, glorious day. So I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So this weather right now is like our fall spring. We'll get a couple of days of really warm weather and it will make you think that it is in fact spring and it is definitely not. So. Uh, there's more snow supposedly coming and the weather's gonna get pretty cold again in the 20s and 30s for a week or two so this isn't gonna last and I figured in the meantime if I don't have a video to put out we will do a Q&A because I'm already to like I think uh, last time I looked I was over 7,000 subscribers so I'm so excited about that and uh, I guess it's probably time I did one of those Q&A's since I have it and I've been really enjoying I've done a couple of interviews on YouTube with other channels and I've been really enjoying doing that and I figured you guys haven't had the opportunity to ask questions and have me answer them so I figured let's do that so if you have anything you want to know, uh, I'm going to make a post on Instagram and YouTube and you guys can, it'll be in um, like a regular post on YouTube where you can reply to. You can write it here if you want, ask any questions you want me to answer. I think it'll be fun. This jacket was not this tight last year. I went a little overboard, I think. Ooh, le pew. Ooh. Oh, can't say, can't say Pepe Le Pew anymore. He's banned. <laughs> Alright guys, well I guess I'm going to end this here. Um, I'm going to shut the camera and enjoy the rest of the ride. So, I don't know when the next time is going to be when we're on the bike. <laughs> Hopefully soon, but it's looking like the weather's dropping back down pretty good here. Man, where'd the sun go? Rude. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for coming on this ride with me. I'm so glad we were able to get out. Oh, what a feeling, man. Finally, finally. <laughs> oh. 
So you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out new videos. And until next time, you ride safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.